Hello there. Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep. For those of you who don't know, Helix Sleep has premium mattresses customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. A comfortable mattress that's right for me is a big deal because I spend a lot of time there. It's where I sleep and sleeping is actually one of my favorite activities. I wish I was lying. But a restful sleep is good for you. And not only that, but it's where I read, play video games, and watch ASMR. So to find the perfect mattress for me, I took the Helix Sleep Quiz that matches you based on your body type and sleep preferences. I'm a side sleeper that prefers a medium feel, and I share the bed with my husband and two cats. Based on the quiz, I was matched with the Helix Midnight. Helix Midnight, Helix Midnight. I've had my Helix mattress for almost two years now, um, and I'm still loving it. It's like brand new, and it's still making getting out of bed every day the hardest thing ever. <laughs> it's just so comfy. <laughs> Helix delivers your mattress right to your door with free shipping in the US. The mattress comes rolled up in a box, and it's easy to set up. There is a 100 night sleep trap to test out the mattress and ensure that you love it. Helix mattresses include a 10 year warranty, and they offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So if you're looking to invest in your sleep and would like a new mattress, visit helixsleep.com slash amyk to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. And with that, thank you so much to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video, and let's get on to it. Do, 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 do. I was just telling them that the next day was when I was sleeping. I think there was something. Yeah, yeah, I know you were that day was when I was sleeping. I made a partial though. <laughs> okay. Yep, come in. Yep, we are ready for you. At least I believe we are. Can you tell us your name? Excited to have you here. Okay, as you know, we are looking for a new co pilot for the USS Endeavor. Okay, and this is a big deal. Um, congratulations on being here, it's very selective. Okay, and because of that, we, we do a lot of screening. 
So this is the preliminary interview uh, for Captain Vega and if we feel you are a right fit then we will continue um, and pass you on to them and then they will interview you personally and make sure that you are a right fit for the crew. Alright, okay. How are you doing today? So you enjoyed your experience there. And what did you major in? Yeah. Very cool. That's a good one. So I can assume that you have experience piloting a spacecraft. As in, other than simulations? Really? Okay, good. Um, which ones would you say you're proficient in? So there might be some sounds of, um, uh, ships outside. It seems they're doing some drills, just so you know. Okay, let's see. So, um, why did you choose Nova Stellar over the others? Is there something special about that academy? Yeah, like an hour away. I've 
visitor a few times. It's it's nice. And you're okay with um, relocation if you are chosen. Oh, okay. Courses in engineering, astrophysics, and life support systems. That's very impressive. Very impressive. Yeah, I agree. Well rounded. Well rounded. And your scores seem to be good. Really good. Fantastic scores, actually. Yeah. SS Endeavor goes boldly where no man has gone before, and it is their new mission to explore new reaches of space. What motivated you to pursue a career in space exploration? <laughs> Why not um, a baker, right? <laughs> Really inspiring. So, um, why do you believe that you are the right fit for this particular mission? about technical, technical skills, okay? Can you provide any examples of complex maneuvers you've performed aboard a spacecraft? We call that one the Maverick. <laughs> yep, it's um, based off a movie. <laughs> it's funny how these things stick. Okay, any others? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, very cool. Are you up to date with your training in emergency procedures? So you feel confident about handling critical situations while on board. Okay. Uh, 
how do you stay updated with the latest advancements and discoveries in science and technology? Okay, yeah. Really? skills and everything, especially with um, the schooling you just recently graduated. We're going to skip a lot of the technical skill questions and we're going to go straight to um, things more uh, related to life on board and just personality-wise to see if you're a good fit for a mission like this. Does that sound okay? You're okay with that? Yeah, I figured you would be. <laughs> but if there's anything else that you want to tell us or show off about technical-wise, um, you're free to do that. But, um, yeah, we're fine with it, so you don't, you don't need to. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's, let's look at some problem-solving abilities that you have. Can you describe a challenging situation that you faced on board? And, of course, since you don't have a lot of experience um, on space missions, this could be from a simulation, right? And then, how did you approach and resolve it? So, how did you approach and resolve that challenging situation that you faced? That counts, yeah. So your knowledge of engineering came in handy there. Good. So how did you um, speak with your crew? How did you handle that communication-wise? disagreements within a team. Can you provide an example of a situation where you effectively resolved a team dispute? A team dispute? 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 Okay, that's fine. You can use another simulation. Did you feel like it resolved the situation? Yeah. And what was the outcome?
There's a lot of that on board. Mm. circumstances. How did you handle it and what did you learn from the experience? I know that's pretty open-ended. Sudden change of plans or circumstances. Sudden change of plans or circumstances. That's fine, it can be something like that. We generally look for something more Crucial, but that's fine. Yep. Can you just explain how you handled that? them about that? Did you tell them how you felt or? Okay, so you didn't address your concerns. sort of been in a situation like that and it can be very difficult right and you know even though it's not necessarily life changing it can um, really affect us in a, a lot of ways to bend, you know especially if we are a certain type of person yeah yeah I think that's a great answer personal things um, and we ask you this because it has to do with um, being on the spacecraft for extended amounts of time and we want to make sure that you're the right fit, okay? Are you in a committed relationship? And if you are in a relationship at the time of takeoff, if you are accepted, how do you think being away from your partner for long periods of time will affect your performance. Okay, I know that was a long one. But how do you think being away from your partner will affect your performance? Yeah, 
if you haven't ever been in that situation, it is hard to tell. Um, but we could imagine what it's like, right? Yep. your background has been checked. And you also have the personal. Okay, so we've done a background check and everything looks good. Um, but have you ever had any conflicts or legal issues within your family or personal relationships that might impact your ability to work well in a team. Right. Okay. Okay, yeah. Right, okay. Do you have any, uh, let's, sorry, we're moving on to, um, some health history. regular physicals at the academy. Right, I see that you have one. Do you have that? Okay. Right, so they did one pretty close to when you graduated. Or do you have any um, chronic illnesses or medical conditions that could potentially affect your performance in space? In your opinion. Taken any medications in the past? the date of your last physical. Perfect. Did you get that? The state of the physical. Good. Okay. Perfect. When was your last tetanus shot? Do you remember? Okay. Well, we'll get you up to date with those if you're chosen. To need it. Okay, when was your last routine blood test? It was with your last physical. Good. Um, low in vitamin D. 
be <laughs> but that's fine because that is something that we um, provide is um, artificial sunlight so you don't need to worry about that uh, but if there is a continued issue we can have you take vitamins so everything's fine there colonoscopy routine or otherwise okay. how old are you again? right, yeah, so, okay have you ever experienced any mental health issues or been diagnosed with a psychological ADHD, anxiety, panic disorder, OCD, or any other behavior disorder. Okay. with dyslexia, dyscalculia, or dysgraphia. Once again, that's dyslexia, dyscalculia, or dysgraphia. Okay. Oh, let's move on. Financial situation. Do you have any outstanding debts or um, financial obligations that may interfere with your commitment to the mission? Mm, no, rent is that's gonna be all taken care of. Like anything outside of the basic, like housing expenses, credit card. Consume any uh, substances such as alcohol, drugs, etc., that could uh, potentially impair your ability to fulfill your duties effectively. Um, as in, like more than casually, or anything that's generally more than. Mm, yeah, okay. So, no. Okay. Awesome. Um, I'm just 
just gonna, before we move on to our last section, I want to ask you, um, how do you handle working with diverse individuals from different planetary backgrounds? Uh, because on the USS Endeavor, they welcome all types, so there's every species under the sun, so to speak, you know, under the many suns. <laughs> so, have you had experience with different species? How many? What's that look like? Yeah, from what I'm aware, Nova Stellar is, y yeah, and there isn't much, uh, okay. Oh, but there's, oh, I didn't realize that there was a population there. Oh, okay. So what was your experience working with that species? So you would be comfortable working with different species? Maybe even ones that maybe even don't have a face or... Yeah, okay. You look forward to it? Okay. Yeah. That's definitely something that is um, a big deal. Something that you need to be okay with. So the last section is just um, A or B. Uh, you, I'm going to ask the question, give you the A or the B option, and you tell me which one is more like you or which one describes you best in your opinion. Okay. <clears throat> My emotions have A. A strong impact on how I behave, or B, little or no impact on how I behave. Okay. I am generally guided by A, my goals and values, or B, others' goals and values. Okay. I learn most from A doing activities, or B, from reflecting on past activities. If it's close, you can always just choose which one you are thinking the most. Okay. Right? Okay. So, do you generally, A, have a good sense of humor about yourself, or B, take yourself seriously? When there are uncertainties and pressures, you A. Make decisive and sound decisions or B. Are cautious about making the right decision. Okay. I always voice views that A. Are unpopular and go out on a limb for what is right. Or, B, that most others agree with and support. Okay. 
There's no right or wrong answer. Yep, just kind of feeling out personality. Okay, I generally, A, inspire confidence in others. Or B, rely on others' confidence. I always, A, do as I say I will do, or B, do only what I have to do. Okay? When obstacles and setbacks occur in pursuing my goals, I always, A, Readjust the goals and or expectations or B Persist in seeking the goals despite what has happened. So a I readjust the goals and or expectations or B persist in seeking the goals despite what has happened Some of these have right or wrong answers, but not all of them. Okay. Group differences are always A. Causing difficulties and unrest, or B. Understood and valued. Okay. Right. And last one. Winning people over is something that A that you find difficult to do, or B, that you are very good at. Okay. Did you get anything? Right? satisfied with what we've heard today. Um, no more questions. We will get back to you um, on whether or not you've been selected to move on to uh, the interview with the cat. Okay. Um, it has been a joy interviewing you. You know, you are a very strong candidate. I will let you know. We have, um, I think, three Two, so we have two others that we will be interviewing for the position. Um, so you should know uh, by next week, um, probably Monday, you should know whether or not you uh, are moving on to the next. Mm. It, it really depends. Uh, generally, we move on... Um, at least two out of, well, there's five, five of you total. Um, and we generally move on one or two uh, for the captain to interview because at that point it's gotten pretty serious. Uh, and if the captain likes you, then you will go on a quick, um, just a quicker mission uh, as like a feeling you out sort of thing. Um, but if the captain doesn't like either of you, then we start all over, sort of thing. Um, but you will always be in our database, of course, for other starships. Um, I know with these credentials that, uh, you know, even if you don't get on the USS Endeavor, there are many that would take you. But I, from what it sounds like, you're pretty set on this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. On the exploration ships, yeah. You're 
already said on that. So if you want to wait out for some, you know, one of those ships, um, it'll take longer because they're harder to get onto. You may be able to uh, interview for a different position if you do not get co-captain or co-pilot. Um, there's all, yeah, there's all kinds of positions that you could, um, yep, yeah, uh, but of course, getting any sort of pilot, uh, experience is really going to help you for when you, uh, if you reapply. So if you don't make it, uh, that's the only thing that's kind of missing here, is just experience. Everything looks good on paper, but, um, you know, oftentimes we, when people are thrown into these things, it's just a whole other ballpark and maybe they find that they don't particularly like it and all that. I mean, you seem pretty set in your goals, uh, in life, but, um, yep. Yeah. Just, uh, I, I do wish you luck and, um, yeah, we'll get back to you. Okay. 